I'd say the moment, the first day we landed in Athens is when we all walked to get dinner and just been walking to Monastiraki to get our euros to fill our stomachs after the long day. We saw the Acropolis come into you for the first time and to me just sitting on the ground, eating food and waking up was an amazing experience just with, without a care in the world seeing this is some of the best that Western civilization has created over the past three and a half, two and a half thousand years. And I just thought, wow. And another moment that I'm, it's, I guess it wouldn't be as, not, it's not well, a lot less academic than that. It's just there's one day we were on a very long road trip from Bethlehem back to Athens and we just stopped at this tavern in the middle of nowhere and the view was empty. We, no one there spoke English and we just chilled, took over and played pool for a while. And while well, Tim Shea did some furious translation and I just thought culturally that was a great experience just seeing the part of Greece that will not see a single tourist ever and just seeing, like actually interacting with Greeks and seeing this is Greece. Yeah. It, it would definitely be me frolicking in a field of flowers on Cyprus. I thought that that was the funniest picture ever and someone on campus found it and made it a group me cover and I just thought that it, that picture I hope never dies. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I would say that uh, that, th that this was an amazing academic experience that I think you learn a lot about yourself and a lot about, I guess, what you want to get out of Dartmouth, a lot of what you want to get, even out of life in general, just from being in such a different environment that I feel like I learned a lot about myself in Greece. And even though I'm probably not going to be a classic major at this point, I still think that this FSQ is a valuable academic experience that I'm going to remember forever. On a scale of one to ten, I'd say the first two weeks were where would be at ten just because of all the work involving physically moving while at the same time having a bit more than a normal Dartmouth term. But then I think once we had our first road trip and you can sleep on the bus, it went down to like a seven. I think I think well, now the final paper ramps it ramps it up a lot. I think I think it just it was a very big adjustment to getting used to the type of academic work in Greece. And I think it started out very hard and just got easier over time. And then it got hard again when we had to write a final paper. Basically, like in Yalva, we were just lounging around a pool, just again, we'd all, we'd all finish our homework. And it was just relaxation that that day I thought was the epitome of the FSP in that we woke up early, had a nice breakfast, lounged around by the pool, got lunch. I think Tim Connor probably negotiated with some guy with the help of Kim Shea for some oranges. And then at the end of the day, we took a quiz while sitting next to a pool. I thought that was amazing. Honestly, I was like, the first week, I was like, the first week in Greece, I'm like, all right, I can't walk 30,000 steps every day. How long is it going to go? And I was so happy when there was Spiros to bring us from place to place as opposed to our legs. I don't think of anything I wish. Maybe I wish I I wish I'd known how much walking it would be. That would help me get in shape. But at the same time, there's a chance I wouldn't have gone if I'd known how much walking it would have been. I mean, well, actually, maybe I wish I wish I'd known that. Maybe the first two weeks are the hardest ones. I think maybe that that could be helpful to know because when I. I was under the impression that all 10 weeks would be that, and I'm like, oh, this is going to be a busy term. But then once I realized that this no, just the first two weeks, that for whatever exogenous reasons, these two, the first two weeks are always going to be the busiest because of where we are and what we're doing. But then once you sort of go on the open road, it gets a lot, <clears throat> a lot more relaxed. You get to learn all about Greece and about the whole archaeology from all the way from the Minoans all the way down to like, even the modern times. And I think once you realize that, one that the Greece is a big country and it extends beyond Athens. It's great because Athens is one of my least favorite parts of Greece and just seeing the entire big country and once we left Athens for the first time, even at Hosio Luka for the first time, I got to see this is Greece and it's not just this one city that has a Parthenon. I think I'll learn that you really can survive without modern technology and there was 
extended periods of time, we really didn't have Wi-Fi and we didn't use email and everything we did, we knocked on each other's doors, we used flash drives to exchange files, we had a very inefficient printer and sort of having that experience where you realize that all this technology is great, but you can live without it and do serious work without it. I think it was just eye-opening to me, just writing essays, pencil and paper. And I feel like that's an experience that long after I've forgotten every single tidbit about Greece, I think I will remember that experience. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time and glad you enjoyed it. And have a great day. Enjoy the rest of Winterim, and I'll see you back on campus.